theater. They won't let me in. It's closed right now. They're renovating it, but uh, they owe all this to me. The only reason this is a historical site is because I was shot here and brought across the street to uh, Peterson House. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow and they'll be open. Yes, Ford's Theater owes its status as a historical landmark to President Abraham Lincoln and the tragic events surrounding his assassination in April of 1865. Along with the Peterson House, where Lincoln was taken after he was shot and where he ultimately died, Ford's Theater went from a popular Washington entertainment venue to an international house of infamy virtually overnight. On the site where Ford's Theater now stands, the First Baptist Church of Washington built their first house of worship beginning in 1833. In 1859, the church relocated after merging with another congregation. The building then remained unoccupied until 1861 when John T. Ford purchased it and renovated it into a theater. After only a few months of operation, the theater was closed for further renovations. The theater was converted to better accommodate theatrical performances rather than musical ones. The theater opened under the name Ford's Athenaeum and was a rousing success until a fire destroyed the building in December of 1862. Ford then rebuilt his theater to be grander and more modern than ever before. The theater then became Washington's premier entertainment destination until the night of April 14, 1865, when President Lincoln decided to attend a performance of Our American Cousin with his wife Mary and their friends Miss Clara Harris and Major Henry Rathbone. That evening, an actor named John Wilkes Booth crept into the president's box as he watched the play. Booth fired a single shot to the president's head and then leapt from the box to the stage below. The assassin then made his escape out of the rear stage door of the theater. He would eventually be tracked down and killed a few days later. The mortally wounded Lincoln was taken across the street from the theater to a boarding house owned by German immigrant William Peterson. The president remained there until his death the next morning. After the War Department ordered the theater to be closed, John Ford threatened legal action so the government rented the building from him for $1,500 a month until June 1866 when they bought the theater outright for $100,000. After gaining control of the property, the government remodeled it into an office and storage building. The Record and Pension Bureau of the War Department occupied the building from April 1866 to July 1928. In June 1893, a second tragedy occurred at the site when the installation of an electric plant weakened the foundation and caused three floors of the building to collapse into the basement. Twenty-two people were killed and 68 injured, all employees of the Record and Pension Bureau. From 1928 to 1933, the Office of Public Buildings and Public Parks of the National Capitol used the building for storage space. The office was absorbed by the National Park Service, U.S. Department of the Interior, in June 1933. In 1946, bills began being introduced in Congress to restore the theater to its original appearance the night of Lincoln's assassination. Full approval for the restoration did not come until July 1964, and the project wasn't finished until February 13, 1968, when the theater was reopened to the public. Since then, the theater has hosted numerous theatrical plays with scheduled afternoon and evening performances. When plays are not in progress, visitors can sit in the first floor auditorium and watch a sound and light presentation which recreates the atmosphere of Civil War time Washington. The theater is currently closed for renovations until February 2009. The Peterson House remained in the Peterson family for 13 years after Lincoln's death until 1878 when the property was sold to Mr. and Mrs. Louis Shotta for $4,500. Mr. Shotta used the building as his home and office. In 1896, the U.S. government purchased the building from the Shotta family. In 1932, five women's patriotic organizations led the efforts to recreate the home as it was the night Lincoln was shot. It currently offers tours to visitors who can view the parlor where Mary Todd Lincoln spent most of the evening and the room Lincoln died in. The Peterson House, along with Ford's Theater, are currently maintained by the National Park Service.